Welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles, uh, Cab Over Monday. And uh, today we've got the uh, Marmon 110P from Rush Hour 109. And uh, I really like this truck, I really do. Um, don't really drive it enough, but yeah, it's it deserves a little love. And um, where we are is Ardmore and we're heading to Emporia. So we're down Ardmore at Taylor and we're heading to Emporia. Uh, up here it uh, going to Johnson and Smith so see what that's like oh that yard that could be tricky we'll see how it goes uh, but this is kind of fun because we get to travel up through here and cross here I don't know oh that's probably a four lane ah oh, well we'll enjoy the drive and uh, in an enjoyable truck, we've got the um, uh, draw modding Mac flat flatbed here. It's kind of a cool trailer. I just got their one of their skins on it. Kind of goes with the truck skin. And we'll talk. About the truck skin is something I just did today. I saw this on a Marmon truck, and it's not bad. The metallic is the red. I don't like it, but the orange metallic is going to be all right and it's supposed to have silver metallic i think where i have gold but this is gold that um, i just painted in the workshop but i'm going to leave that paintable and but i'm going to do something i gotta i gotta fix up that red metallic i gotta find something more in keeping with the orange metallic darker more pronounced metal flake it looks a little just like faded red paint right now so i'm going to fix that so, but I mean, he spent all day on it, so it's where it ended up. And uh, the trailer's pretty cool. I like it. It's got a ton of axle options, and if you want to put a ton of axles on it, you can. <laughs> I imagine I have to check and see what kind of loads you get on it if you go for the great, like a whole lot of axles. See if that does anything. But anyway, let's uh, get rolling here. We've got, um, it's 48,866, so I don't have the steer axle down, or I shouldn't, did it go down when I, oh, it went down, let's put it up, we don't need it. It's a lot of rubber to be running on the ground for the weight. Got the GPS down there, it's kind of out of sight. Got to really, <laughs> tilt my head down to see it. But it's better than having it right blocking your view in the windshield. Because this thing, the windshield's like right in front of you. Definitely the... Be the first... Definitely be the first to the scene of the accident in this thing. It's got some useful gauges. It's got um, oh, there we go. a parameter down there. It's kind of nice. I got all the graphics cranked up, except I only have mere distance on high, not ultra. Everything else is cranked. I didn't think I needed the mirrors on ultra like that's uh, really hard on it but you're getting 60 fps pretty steady right here Keep right. After 50 yards, go straight. if it stays like this um go straight. look oh red light i oh, oh. was <laughs> thinking about what i just saw in the yeah we're gonna stay in this get in the right lane up here i was thinking about what i just saw in the gps don't Quality controller. <laughs> Brightly feathered bird. So some interesting loads for this thing. 
Boy, I don't know if I've been out on this road before. This is all looking kind of new. And another light. Oh, it's green. Boy, I was close. Maybe we go right here. Yeah. Right. After 15 yards, turn right. Turn right. Boy, she's a little late on the call there. Getting that parameter up. It's just to the right of the steering wheel on the outside edge of the steering wheel, that first one right there. It's starting to climb as we're accelerating up on the highway here. Watch it a bit. Still climbing. Getting up to 12 o'clock there. <clears throat> really hard to get some good angles on this paint job. I could only find one picture of it. It was from a three-quarter or quarter front angle so wasn't very helpful couldn't quite see what was going on with all of it so it's it was like this angle here oh, <laughs> stay on the road here yeah uh, yeah I gotta do something with that red metal flake Magic uh, 80 miles an hour here. I'm pretty sure the uh, gate, oh, I'll see if, well, keep going straight, and then I'm gonna tilt my head down, see if we can see the, to the left of the steering wheel under the dash panel, there's an add-on panel. It looks like, to me, oh, I can't see it. Oh, there, down there, those, uh, that gauge, Let's say fuel pre-regulator or something or other. What's going on with the, just stay to the right here. I'll have to read that a little closer. Pre-regulator, what the heck is that? I thought it was something for the reefer, to tell you the truth. Monitor what's going on with it, but uh, let's see. Oh, I can't read it now. It's bright sunshine on it. We're going to get in the right lane up here. East. Wichita. Wichita and Fort Smith. Oh, I wonder how far right. Oh, looks like both lanes. Try and get the this skin is likely not going to be on Steam uh, when you see the video. I think I'm going to take a little more time with it, but it's getting there. I like the idea of it. I just don't, you know, that red needs work. And anytime you're messing around with this metal flake kind of hybrid paint jobs, there, there, oops, it's tricky. Also, next right, which that's us. Spell it out. Oh. No, I guess not. Yeah, that uh, is going to be a pain, that thing. I guess what i got to do is sit up more. There we go. I'm sitting down too low on my seat. For uh, Toby to catch, when I move my head down, I go about below the level and my keyboard's blocking it a bit there. I don't want to have to jack my uh, monitor any higher in the air. 
that's just a convenient place to rest the keyboard. So if I'm here, yeah, I can sit in here is good. Good for that. Oh, there's that reefer thing. What's it say? Fuel free regulator. Pretty sure that's what it says. Man, there's no traffic. What is going on here? Hang on. Uh oh, that's a bad idea. Don't do that while we're driving. We were in convoy last night. Here's an interesting thing, if you guys are into convoy, is uh, last night we were, um, there were six of us and um, on Recon's dedicated server. And it was kind of goofy because, I mean, the traffic, I've been complaining about it. Like in convoy, it's terrible. So, uh, we had the bright idea, why don't we, uh, everybody, go into your dev console and turn the traffic to zero. So we did that and all the traffic disappeared. Well, that was awesome. So then what we did is we, everybody set their traffic to point two. Oh, we're supposed to go right here, no. Nope. Set our traffic to point two. And with the traffic at point two, it was pretty good. It was a little sparse. You know, there wasn't a whole lot of theory. You know, we could make it a little higher next time. But it solved a lot of the issues we're having with it. was just constant bombardment of crazy stuff going on with the traffic the last maybe week and a half in Convoy. Convoy has been really different than it was. So I think something's changing in the background in preparation for 150. Because it didn't used to be as goofy as it is right now. It's just out of hand. And so it's good to know that you can do that. You can uh, on on the dedicated server anyway. So we don't know, don't really know what would happen in regular convoy if it would work or not. But uh, definitely worth it, a shot. sure made life better it's that you know slowing down stopping because the way it works I guess is a convoy each vehicle like you there's a certain amount of vehicles that travel with each spawn for each participant and uh, yeah really okay where's the scale Thousand pounds. Depends on that trailer. There's a lot of axles on it. Maybe 85? 81, 153. Not a bad guess. Oh, over here. Let's, um. Got my signal going still. Let's fix this, uh, traffic situation. Traffic is at zero. Let's make it one. Things start to happen pretty quick. There we go. I wonder why it was at zero still. That's weird because we set it to point two last night. vehicles head into the toll plaza. Oh, 
was it last time around one of these I think it was 11 bucks or something when we got off 11 or 14 it's kind of a cool truck it's interesting where it gets the paint for things from like the air cleaner under there is gold so it's grabbing it from the body somehow and the ends of the tanks if you want paint on the ends supposed to turn there. Um, they're gold. It's kind of weird. So are the wheel arches, the uh, extensions on the sides of the cab for the wheel arches. So I just have black plastic ones on. So they're black or you can have chrome. This doesn't look too bad because we've got a lot of chrome on the truck. stay on top of this uh, GPS situation because we know how last minute oh what's going on up there oh, that's going to go right through this next one too well, I hope everybody had a great weekend and uh That whatever relaxation you needed, if you didn't, oh boy, try and catch up this week if it's possible. Uh, the youngest friends, uh, we're doing this on Sunday, this video, just before supper. And the youngest one's friends all left an hour or so ago, they had a great time. That yeah, was pretty good. Side glass is good, it seems. I always thought it was weird on these trucks how they have the uh, the cut on the side of the window. It's got the little step going up at the front of the window instead of down, like on a Kenworth W900 or a Ford pickup truck. Kind of weird. Kind of cool truck. Well, we're still not turning. some interesting loads like a lot of them look like the default loads and there's some that are just tarped load 48,000 pounds kind of thing and it's got aluminum coils steel coils uh, uh, different kinds of pipe it's, it's all right and uh, you don't have to have the tarp side on of course I just have the tarp side on it might be different without the tarp I don't know I'll have to uh, look into that. Try try a load without the tarp. But um, like I've been a patron of drill modding for years now, and um, I hardly ever I hardly ever use any of their stuff, and it's kind of goofy. Not getting my money's worth out of the not getting my money's worth out of the patron. So I thought, geez. Better use it. Turn right. Oh, there's that thing we went around the other day. Keep left. 
if that's what you meant. Yep. Cross the rotary, third exit. Hold on there, sporty. Try not to drag our trailer across the infield here. Is up the road a bit. Go straight. Yes, yeah, saying about all the stuff that gets painted gold. I thought with the roof that was getting it from there maybe, but no, and then I painted the roof black and that stuff's still gold. I think those corners right there, those should all be rounder. Make it look better at the front. That's the way it is in the picture. But it may not be, like I say, it may not have got the side exactly like the picture because of the uh, weird, sorry, the weird angle and only the one angle to work with. turns left and we may be on the right after we turn. Oh yeah, we're going to have to turn right sooner or later anyway. Stay in this lane. Go straight. The trailer's got a bunch of rear options, but this is the least uh, sort of like flamboyant, uh, the uh, the rear bumpers are, it's not terrible. Some of them are pretty racy looking, like just a big slab of chrome. A bit much for me, but I don't mind this one. Uh, look. And you don't have to put a bunch of lights on, they're all there, so whatever bumper you choose has got its light selection, so I kind of like that. And for the side lights on the trailer, I just uh, chose one of the options that's pre-populated. I didn't really look hard at the other ones. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. I'll have to go on drill modding site again and see what I'm turn what I'm paying for. I've had this trailer forever. I never used it. <laughs> kind of goofy. I support him because the guy's active military. He goes away in long stretches and comes back and works away at the stuff he does. And, you know, he's a one man band, it looks like. Gotta respect him. He's trying to do a lot. The fact that he's active military and, you know, that's tough. Tough to have a family, tough to have a hobby. And he was away for an extended period and he offered, uh, he sent out a note to all his patrons and told them they could quit, no hard feelings, because uh, he, uh, he wouldn't be able to do anything for quite a while and he hadn't done anything for quite a while. And he was feeling guilty about it and he just wanted everybody to know, so I like that. I like the fact that he's, you know, he's up front and uh, keeps keeps me. Uh, they probably kept more than he lost. I, or at least I hope so. I hope a lot of people didn't say, "Oh, you know, f you," and I'm out of here. I like the fact that uh, he did did do that. So, drill mining, good for you. If he would just um, get some load securement on his low boy. Turn left. Cause I like his low boy a lot, but I don't like the fact that there's no real load securement. Unless that's changed now. Like I said, I gotta go back on his site and see. 
And there's a template, so I can, uh, yeah, I can paint this, uh, I'm gonna paint this trailer. Where are we going over there? Look at her laid out here like spokes in a wheel. <laughs> oh yeah, if they're gonna have us, oh no, this isn't too bad. I think we can probably put this wherever we need to. Yeah, I kind of. I'm still having problems with Rudis trucks. I'm really ticked off, off about it because I saw a really cool paint job I want to do for the 362. It ain't going to happen uh, unless. I don't know what the heck is going on there. Like, it's not just me having problems. I don't know what it is. Hopefully, somebody figures it out. And I put them in a profile all of their own, just just through the trucks. And uh, I was having a problem with the Classic the other day. Now the Classic doesn't have a problem. The 362 seemed pretty good. I can go in, I can buy one, I can get started configuring it. And then all of a sudden it'll just crash out of the blue. Uh-oh. So, I don't know what's going on there. It's kind of a bummer. Can't do the 389. I'd like to finish that uh, Metal Flake skin I did. Got started for it. But we're just coming real close to that. Wow, well, it's within an inch. Oops, get her over a bit here. I left a little later in the morning than usual, so he finished a little later, but yeah, it's always good. It's Court Recon, do I have to say it? <laughs> it's the sky. Yeah, it just gets better and better. Yeah, I think I might just add lib on this and smooth some of those goofy corners. And then I had to extend it to go over that, uh, the arch to go over the uh, vent. And I might fix that up and just make that a smoother curve I don't know don't know what to do there oh work in progress but it uh, it needs help it's not not gonna stay like this huh. well it's to, 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 to get this trailer unloaded I think this one's set up to pay pretty big bucks oh 24,000 yeah that's quite a bit for that trip The lights on so that's one light option for the trailer there's others and there's lots of toolbox options and you can have toolboxes with a little bit of dunnage for a dunnage rack and um, tarps tied down at the front of the trailer bed if you are going with uh, no sides and there's different sides I believe and three different paint jobs for the side of the trailer if you don't want to make your own or wait for me to make one <laughs> yeah cool neat trailer I'll uh, have to look it up and see what's new on it and put a link for it in the video if uh, you guys care to see it and as always appreciate you following along and take care catch you on the next one and bye for now